Hey guys, and welcome to the start of a brand new series where I read my own work. Now due to unseeable circumstances, the amazing World of James Barrett stories are now gone from my system, so I can't continue that series, but in its place, the Pigot 20 Universe stories. New versions, starting with a new instalment for the Barrett family, the first story of the Pigot 20 Universe, Halloween. In the Barrett family. Here we go. So, the Barrett household, October 2021. It was Halloween time in the Barrett household, and James and Millie were helping their three children, Romana, Roscoe, and Lily, to get ready for the big night. As they were all very young children, they loved to go trick-or-treating because it gave them a good excuse to dress up and go out asking for sweets. Romana was going as a princess this year. Roscoe was going as a giant licorice or sort. And Lily was going as a fairy. James and Millie were taking them door to door to get their treats. James was going as a zombie, which Millie didn't like, but... <laughs> wouldn't try to change his mind. She was going as a nun, which unnerved the kids, as they'd somehow heard about all the Conjuring films from some careless teenager while out shopping with Millie. Being five years old, Lily tended to get bored during these trips and started to be naughty, but stopped as soon as Millie caught her at it. This time, however, she didn't dare misbehave, as it would mean she'd be banned from going trick-or-treating and be put to bed while either James or Millie had to stay home to mind her. It was nearly six o'clock in the evening, and they were all in their costumes and ready to go. Once they were outside, James consulted the map he compiled to guide them through house to house, from house to house, and indicated that they should start on their side of the street. So off they went to take Romana, Roscoe and Lily trick-or-treating from their neighbours, the Thornton's house, where they got a whole pile of sweets and chocolates each. From there, they were off trick-or-treating to their heart's content until they reached the last house on their route, who only gave out sugarless treats due to being dentists. After that, as they made their way home, they met Darren and Sarah, who were leading their two children, Roscoe and Lizzie, around on their trick-or-treating rounds, and just about to call it a night too as it was nearly the kids' bedtime. Back at the Barrett household, the kids looked through their hoard of sweet treats and chose, not choose, chose one each to take upstairs with them. All three were soon in bed and ready to go to sleep. Lily was asleep in a matter of seconds. Our next story will be the Stratton Zone. <laughs> until then, until then. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the story.